you're not supposed to be there. You're not supposed to be there. You're not supposed to be there, dog. All right, let's take a look at the actual um, trainer, dog trainer remote collar. So we're gonna take a look at it. So let's turn it on, first of all, right? We're gonna turn it on and it vibrates when it's on and it'll start lighting up when it's green, it's lighting up, right? When it turns red, it's because it's low battery. So on this one right now, you could charge it simple from the bottom. If you guys can see micro USB on this one to charge it, it was gonna be from the here. If you guys can see micro USB and it's all waterproof too. These are the problems can be changed out to smaller ones. If you have light hair dogs, you can do that. But right now we do have a larger breed. So we're gonna keep them as is and then just pop this on off. And it's, if you guys can see, he doesn't really feel that much because it's like they're large and he has a lot of thick hair. So. The way it works is simple. You have this controller and you could choose different tones. Right now, you could even lock it so you don't have to by accidentally push the button or something if you have it in your pocket. Right now, we're gonna unlock it and it tells you how much battery you have. We're on level one and we're set to level one on electrical. Of course, you could go higher than that. So right now, we're gonna send a tone first. That's a warning and then the vibrated part. So you guys, I'm gonna put it here so you guys can feel it. There you go and then course we're going to test it out with the shocks and the shock i have a tester here it's included with it too so we're going to put the tester on it so you guys can see the light and the electricity how much right now we have level one so you're not going to see too much light we're going to see a little blinking light there it is and i just send a couple voltage on onto the collar so let me try it one more time and you guys can see it it's going through so uh you just got to make sure it don't do it too hard because you know it hurts the dog but for training purposes, it's perfect. You normally don't have to do that. You could just do these two, um, but it's a plus in case he's gonna jump the fence or something happens. So easy to set up, easy to use. I hope you guys enjoy the video.